Hi, in this King of Avalon video I want to have a look at how to analyze uh, battle reports. I have the impression that a lot of yeah, a lot of rot players, the main focus is going to be at the attack, defense and health, critical hit chance, and then the attack, defense and health of the different troop types and see, okay, if they are better, than they're, they expect to win. If they are not, they expect to lose. And that is quite often the case, but there are quite some other things to uh, to pay attention to that are also shown in a uh, battle report. And some of them don't uh, come back in those attack, defense and health stats, or they don't come back in the stats at all. What is uh, yeah, normally going to make quite some difference besides the attack, defense and health is the damage stats. And they can be, uh, well, you, will, you will see them in the report. Anyway, we will have a look at that. And they are influenced uh, for part by the, by the dragon. So the six star that I have and the seven star uh, that is shown here means uh, a yeah, higher star level for the dragon is a little bit better army damage and uh, army damage received. So that's quite important for the, the uh, dragon skills. There are some of them that uh, provide some bomb and damage and cavalry damage, and uh, and there are also uh, yeah six of them um, provide some specific uh, damage received or reduction or damage received increase. Uh, damage done increase, I should say, for specific troop types like bowmen. Dam bowmen do extra damage against cavalry or infantry uh, receive less damage from cavalry. So that, uh, yeah, those are all uh, important to have as well. You see them here and we will also see them later in the stats, but that's definitely something to focus on. Something you don't see back in the stats is actually the start level of your heroes and the benefit of the heroes. You won't see those, uh, or at least some of the benefits of those March heroes, you won't see back in the stats, but they are still very important. So if somebody, here we have the same, me and my opponent, but if you have uh, two or three stars, that is definitely going to make a huge difference, although part of the effect you won't see uh, back in your stats. Well, here we see the uh, uh, the actual results, the rain of fire kills and breath of fire kills. Uh, this is a report from Royal Arena, so there's no breath of fire kills, but those are normally relatively small. It's nice to have, but it's not a huge amount. Uh, the other losses can be quite huge. The element value, uh, yeah, this you all see back in the stats, but uh, yeah, it is one explanation why the stats of the opponent can be higher than yours. 480 against 840 is quite a big uh, difference. Now, something you also don't see back in the stats below, but which is very important, is the war strategy level. And besides the amount, it's also important how you spread these. And here you can see exactly what the opponent has and what you have done. So some we have the same, like the uh, infantry. Some we have quite uh, or a bit different, like the uh, cavalry. And also bowmen, we have a bit uh, different. Uh, I focus a bit more, it seems, on the um, T13 bowman and my opponent uh, hasn't done that yet not even sure we can look later at the troops whether he already has his t13 because i'm a bit surprised that both of them he hasn't uh, for cavalry and for bowman he hasn't worked on yet but it's uh, yeah it's important to have a look at this and in some uh, yeah always good to keep in mind for yourself if you're changing your march setup and you don't use a certain troop type anymore, then also make sure that for the uh, yeah you reset your war strategies so that you also don't assign points to um, yeah to those uh, strategies that you no longer use or you don't you no longer use the corresponding corresponding troop type. Keep an eye on that, and those you don't see them back in the stats, but they are still very important. The effect of those is very important. 
So if we scroll down a bit and go past the attack, defense and health, we come to the, to the damage stats. I have made separate videos on that. So if you want to uh, yeah, know more about that, uh, look for the specific videos on army damage and bowman damage, because they, these are, especially those two, but also cavalry damage, it's very important. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, my, uh, my opponent here has quite higher stats. But on several occasions, or very often, I win based on my better damage stats from players who have a lot better attack, defense, and health stats. And these differences are normally quite small, but still uh, very important. That's also yeah, because damage in itself is a very important stat, more important than attack, I, uh, yeah, in my opinion. Uh, but also, there are not a lot of ways to get it. You can see that the total value for Bowman damage for me is 308.5. While uh, Bowman attack you are at 20,000, I would say that 10 points Bowman damage may be as important as uh, 1,000 points in, uh, in Bowman attack. Maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but uh, yeah, that uh, you, you should look at it at that uh, like that. So it is very important to not miss out on a little bit of Bowman damage um, and cavalry damage. Uh, yeah, that is just very uh, very important. The the other ones, um, yeah, you well you get them in different ways. As I said, you should look at, at separate uh, videos. So I have a focus on on all of them. Uh, lately I'm working, well I'm trying to get my dragon to a higher star level, I'm upgrading my uh, range uh, barracks and stables to level 45 to get uh, better uh, uh, damage and damage received uh, stats. So those are some of the things I'm working on now. For the rest, these uh, six here are the six that I mentioned that come from the dragon skills, they are also very important. So keep an eye out on those and uh, when you have similar attack defense health stats having a little bit better dragon skills can uh, can make the difference so keep an eye out on that so if you yeah if you lose a battle that you think you shouldn't lose there can be different reasons uh, war scrolls i have uh, mentioned can be a reason those damage stats can be a very important uh, difference and uh, also the troop composition sometimes you see that you I've seen that I win a battle and I think based on the stats and, and the other uh, settings I shouldn't have won the battle but then you happen to go up against an opponent that doesn't put any infantry in his uh, march and that is uh, yeah that is uh, really a, uh, a pity. Uh, yeah, oh, for this case, what I already expected, my opponent doesn't have all his uh, T13 yet, so he has, uh, yeah, he has some other, uh, yeah, that's why there was a difference in war scrolls, I'm sure. This guy definitely seems to know what he's doing, so I definitely expect that once he has his T13 unlocked, he will quite soon uh, adapt his uh, war scrolls as, uh, as well. But that is, uh, yeah, sometimes you will see opponents that uh, for which the um, troop types that they are using do not match up with the war strategies. So that is something to keep an eye on as well, because that can also be quite uh, disastrous. Now that I mention it, let me check whether I've actually done everything I should. Yeah. I think only for Bowman, I also have the T12, and uh, I actually also use a little bit of T12 Bowman. But I could argue that I should uh, change that and first complete my cavalry. Maybe that is something I'm going to do, uh, my T13 cavalry, and uh, yeah, keep working on my Bowman for later. Or maybe actually do Iron Skin first, could also be a reason, or Defiant Charge. There might be better things for me to do than the drums of, uh, of war. Anyway, I, I hope this has given some, uh, yeah, some useful insight. Uh, yeah, the, main, the main thing is don't just look at uh, attack, defense and health. That is what a lot of players seem to do. But look at the damage as well and the other aspects of your, 
yeah, of the battle reports. And if you are losing a battle that you think you should win based on attack, defense and health, very likely there is something wrong with your damage stats, with your troop composition. Troop composition, uh, I tend to suggest just around 40% infantry. That normally, uh, yeah, normally is a good amount to, uh, to start with. Um, so, okay, uh, that was it. If, I hope this has been useful. If you have any suggestions or any comments or any questions, that is always much appreciated. And thanks for watching this video.